Hey guys, TC Haveller here, and uh, today is a Raider rework guide showing punishes, mix ups, and just doing don'ts of the new Raider. We're going to get right into it, starting with his punishes, uh, all of his punishes, in, starting with his GB. You get light attack for 15 damage, which can follow up into chains, or you can do soft faint into the stunning tap which is free for 18 damage or for a finisher you could use your unblockable which is unsafe you can be guard broke out of it and it is a free GB for the person you throw it on so use it as a finishing move do not use it as a way to get ticks of damage off of your opponent <clears throat> next we have the stampede rush <clears throat> Rushing them into the wall. The first one is just a light attack, which you can follow up into further more chains for 15 damage. And then the next is the unblockable from neutral. It is an unsafe move, it can be parried. You'll see me do it in a second here from my point of view. The Stampede Charge to Unblockable can be parried, but it is difficult to parry. It is a free 28 damage. Then here is an example of Close Wall. There are three different kinds of wall throws for Raiders, Close, Medium, and Far Wall. If you throw them to a wall that is too close to you, they can guard it. If you throw them to a wall that is medium far from you, you can get a free side heavy. You'll see me do it again in a second here. The um, close wall is 40 damage and medium wall also 40 damage side heavy. And then you're going to see far away wall which is 45 damage. You want to switch to your top heavy. You have time to switch to your top heavy. You see me throw them against the wall, switch to the top heavy and let it fly for 45 top heavy damage. Next we have the <clears throat> punishes. Uh, S stands for Stunning Tap, UB stands for Unblockable, and in the top left corner you can see that. Stunning Tap, Unblockable, 68 damage. It is an unsafe move. You can be guard broke through it afterwards, and you cannot interrupt the guard break. You'll see it happen here again. And, yeah. Then you have 66 damage, Stunning Tap, Top Heavy, which is safe. It's basically the exact same punish, minus 2 damage. And then here you've got what happens if you accidentally throw them to the side. You can whiff a heavy and unblockable. And then they, but they, it is an unsafe move and they get a free guard break off of it. <clears throat> then you can also whiff into a heavy, which is safe for 35 damage. Then this is the Stampede Charge. You can get a Stunning Tap for 18 damage. Or you can get the Light Attack for 15 damage. Both you can follow up and continue going through a chain with. Now you have the Stunning Tap Unblockable. You throw them, throw the Unblockable. This is an unsafe move. He will get a free GB on you. And finally, the... Well, no, not finally. This is the parry, the heavy parry, light attack, unblockable, it is unsafe. Okay, now here you have the out of stam heavy punish again. So it is light heavy instead of the light unblockable. This one is safe and does 50 damage instead of the other one. Now you have the max punish of 90 damage heavy unblockable 90 it is safe and unsafe at sometimes you can be guard broke through it sometimes you cannot uh, it can give you an execution and at sometimes it will not give you an execution this is the time it would give me an execution if he was low now we have the heavy pun the heavy parry punish which is just light attack for 15 damage which you can continue with multiple different kinds of chain attacks. 
Then we have his light punish. Uh, light parry punish. Uh, you get a free side heavy for 40 damage. Um, and against specific assassin characters, you can get a top heavy. But that is only on a select few characters. Now we are on to some do's and don'ts of Raider. First thing is you never want to soft faint your top heavy into the stunning tap. It is too easy to parry and is too easy to block. You will always want to soft faint it from the side heavy, never from the top. Next, you do not want to use your neutral unblockable for damage purposes, nor do you want to use it to start up chain attacks. You want to use it as a finishing move or as a way to confuse your opponent. Now we have do not use your do not use your stunning tap three or more times in a row, for it does not do enough damage and it is just not worth it for the stamina cost. Next up is do not use your entire triple light chain attack. Use only two of the triple light chain attacks. You have better mix-ups and it's just in the triple the third light is easier to parry. How are you going to be talking? Hey, first thing is you just want to watch your stamina like a hawk. You don't want to take your eyes off of it. As soon as you're out of stamina, you are going to get shredded. Next is you just you want to abuse your side dodge GB because Raider's guard breaks are where he is going to get his highest damage punishes. So abuse his side dodge GB. And then playing as a Raider, you want to be able to adapt to your opponent as quick as you possibly can to figure out how they play so you can counter them. <clears throat> And then in a ganking situation, always play for revenge. And now we're into the mix-ups. Um, I'm just going to leave the mix-ups in the top right corner. And I'm going to stop talking for you guys to just watch. Okay, so that wasn't all the Raiders mix-ups, but there's just so many of them in different variations. So go on, be creative. New Raiders New Rework is just overpowered. And anyway, have a nice night, everybody.